to pick up where I left off. This is a lovely little piece. It's actually entitled The Broken Circle. It's about the circle of life. And uh, this piece is kind of commemorative. It's an ode to women who have lost children. Uh, as you'll see, it's the circle of life that has been broken. The spirit is leaving, the teardrop is falling, and the beautiful little fawn, uh, the child, is laying in the low center. This one won the award of nature interpretation at the American Woman Artist Show two years ago in Lodi, California. Here is one of the pieces that I've done. It's an 18 by 24, uh, done in all colored ink marker. This is a drawing, folks. This is drawn on the white clay board uh, in many stages, starting with the darkest areas first, and then there's been removal techniques, uh, your traditional scratch board removal techniques used to take away that dark area in different spots and then more colored ink put on the uh, white areas that were left when you did the removal. It's a gradual build up from the furthest point away onto the forefront, but the beautiful textures that are involved in here in the grasses and the rocks and everything are really magnificent. I love this medium. I'll be doing far more in it. That's an 18 by 24. Now here is an 18 by 24 done with colored inks washed on, painted on actually, and then watercolors painted on the white clay board. And then the black area was your traditional black India ink painted on for the deer, dried, hardened, cut back off, and then repainted over the incised marks, if you can see them. So it is the traditional scratch board area in this piece. This is one of my favorite guys. Walking in His Own Shadow is the title of this piece. The uh, particular photograph that I used to do this from, I almost threw out and deleted from my camera roll. Um, I thought, oh no, I've caught a darn shadow over the face, it's gonna ruin everything. Then I started thinking about it and it was actually caused by the hump in the back of the bison. His own hump was shadowing his face. And I thought, man, what an interesting approach. I looked the phrase up and found that the India Indian prime minister used the phrase that India should learn to walk in her own shadow. What he meant by that was the country needed to learn to stand on its own and not follow another and not necessarily try to be the leader of others, but walk in their own shadow. And I think people kind of need to do that as well. I'm pleased to say I think I'm getting there in my own life. This is my mystery moose. It was a moose that my friend and I had hunted for to take photographs of in the uh, Gros Ventre area outside of Jackson Hole. We couldn't find him after we'd followed him down uh, the road for quite a while. We pulled to the other side of the road. And when I said, I wonder where the moose went, turned, looked out my driver's side window, there he was right there, just like this. So he was a mystery until we spotted him. This is another one of my lovely bison from uh, Yellowstone. And there's more yet to come as the title of this piece because uh, he was the lead bison and there was a lot more that came up and across the road. If you've ever been in a bison jam, you'll know what I mean. Now, my little drawing board has some, a rooster and a hen that I'm working on. I'll show you this one that's done later. Here is an old new thing. Uh, any of you that have followed me for a long time will know that Ampersand and I put out a book, The Flower Garden Al Alphabet, was one of many that we did that had uh, all sorts of patterns and designs in it for you to try out to learn how to do scratch board. Uh, I decided to put the alphabet up for sale. So here it is gracing my walls. They're all five by seven lovely little letters that I designed and they all have a corresponding flower a, aster, B, blue bonnet, C, columbine, D, dahlia, E, echinacea, uh, so, and so forth, all the way through. I added on to that the numbers from one to zero. Here with 
not corresponding because how do you correspond <clears throat> the numbers? I, I did start off trying to put that number of flowers in each one of them when I made the design. So you might count them and see if I've got one, two, three, four, five flowers in each one of these two. Uh, they're also available for purchase now. Now, here we go back to some more of my markers on the white clay board. And this is a beautiful piece entitled Past Prime that I do have five uh, ultra limited edition prints available of, two of which are sold already. This, I just, I'm just absolutely in love with this medium. It's so just rich, rich in intensity. Down below that is a little piece called Drinking Behind My Back, which is also on the whiteboard. But as you see, it's in my Stark Ravens series, although these are magpies. It's very stark, leaving that white background. Very, very contemporary feeling. Here's another Stark Raven up here. Coming in is the name of that one. It's 12 by 12. And a 36 by 36, out of the blue poppy. This piece was inspired by my decision to open this gallery. It came out of the blue. We just happened to be here in Round Top one day, and Gerald, the person who represents the landlord, said, the little uh, cabin next to me is open. Let's go see. And we looked at it and fell in love with it and decided to open the gallery here. So it happened out of the blue, and there it is. Uh, I will try to do some posting on the, my YouTube as well of my studio as soon as I get it cleaned up. And see you then.